So yeah, I had this Tesla Model 3 for almost three years, and it's time to upgrade. Why? Because it's slightly dirty. Nah, I'm just kidding. I want to upgrade because Tesla just refreshed the Model S and I want the newest features. Okay, I don't know if that's worse or better than saying I want to upgrade just because it's dirty. Yeah, basically I want to upgrade because I want to upgrade. <laughs> I've been through a lot with this Model 3 in three, well, almost three years. Let's take a look at some of the wear and tear I put on it. This was where a little girl carelessly opened her truck door into my car. She has never been caught, still on the loose, look out for her. This is where I front end swung it into a garage door, and this is where I tried to fix some of the paint damage with cheap Walmart spray paint. And the newest major damage no one knows about yet is when I was on a road trip and in South Carolina, I thought the car was in reverse, but it was in drive, and I rammed it into a curb. It also looked way, way worse before I took it to New York on the same road trip, where my dad's cousin helped me fix the dent by smoothing it out with a heat gun and jacking it up to push the bottom back in. Honestly, it's not too bad for a free repair. Thank you, dad's cousin. So yeah, everyone say thanks to this car for helping me get used to Tesla and it enduring some of those training mishaps. And hopefully none of those training mishaps happen with the new one. Ugh. And also, I was supposed to get the new Model S a lot sooner. I pre-ordered it on my birthday, February 4th, almost a year ago. And Tesla said it'll be delivered next month. But then they kept on pushing the estimated delivery date further and further and further and further. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing they didn't deliver it sooner. Cause I would have taken the new Model S on that road trip and probably rammed that into a curb. Ugh, I don't mind. Cause it's a first world problem and I already had one so yeah, I didn't mind waiting that much. Now the day has come to pick up the new one! I'm excited! Just like with the Model 3, I already ordered all weather floor mats for it and I'm gonna bring this with me to the delivery and put them in right away. And also, here's the portable SSD I bought for the new Tesla's dash cam feature. Alright, I'm ready to pick her up! This is so exciting, it's like picking up a newborn from the hospital. And getting rid of the old child. And oh yeah, the delivery center is once again in Phoenix, like two hours away. So yeah, I need someone to drive me there and drive my car back. And that person is him. That's me. <laughs> his name is Jared Ramirez. Check out his YouTube channel too. He also has a Tesla, but we're taking mine because he wants to save the miles on his. Yes, I'm selling it. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be the last long road trip I take with this car. Let's go. So Jared was asking about the dents. That is an old one. You've seen that before, I think. But this one is a new one. It's a new one? Oh my god. <laughs> How did that even happen? I rammed it into a curb. Oh my god. The resale value is not that high, probably. Don't do that to your new one, please. <laughs> I'll try not to. I don't think I tried to do it with this one. All right, let's head out. Let's get it. And yeah, I'm gonna be with the one driving this car there because yeah, I want some last moments with this car. Some precious last moments. <laughs> Are you hyped, King? Yeah, but I'm also kind of nervous about crashing it as soon as I drive it off the lot because I don't know if I could get used to that crazy oh, yeah. new steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours, plenty of time for me to take it all in. It's driving itself to get replaced. I just yeah. realized that. Get out of the left lane! What is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> Probably has children in the back of that truck. <laughs> oh my God. Don't ever do your business there. The maps aren't loading. This car doesn't want to be replaced. It's self-aware. All right, 10 minutes away and I'm even more hyped and nervous. Uh, and the map is still not loading. With Teslas, you just gotta expect a new bug every once in a while. All right, All right. just exiting off the freeway. The car is protesting about being replaced again. <laughs> Two minutes away, let's see if I can get over without wrecking. This is Phoenix we're talking about, so. Can you tell I don't drive much in big cities? <laughs> and the map's still not loaded. <laughs> yeah, well you have full service too. <laughs> oh, police! Watch out! Oh, just notice that. Uh, gotta be careful here. Alright, there's the building. 
I'm gonna be inside of you soon. All right, where are the chargers? Oh, I don't think I can fit past yeah. this <laughs> FedEx truck. I hate FedEx. That's a plaid, I think. Which one's that mine? <laughs> Let's see if I get yelled at for these chargers. Maybe. Oh. I don't want that license plate thing at the front. I hope that's yeah, not mine. You can take that off, I think. What am I living in California? <laughs> no, this is Arizona. We don't do that. <laughs> I'm a customer. What's this one? <laughs> Authorized vehicle only. <laughs> I'm picking up. It could be that one. Nah, that's an older one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. Guess do it out here. I'm here for my Tesla delivery. All right, here's the call. Tesla service center. They hacked my phone. They got that co custom caller ID. Hello? I is this case? Yes, it is. So it looks like your car is actually staged in spot 39. 39? Yep, that's it. <laughs> and were you able to accept delivery in your Tesla app? Uh, I can check right now. Do I have to go inside to do anything? Nope, not at all. The documents are in the car. You'll be able to accept delivery through the Tesla app. Okay, I'm in the app and it says we'll notify you when it's time to accept delivery terms. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see it in the app. It's a Model 3 for some reason. <laughs> uh, it's still connecting. Yeah. Oh, oh, there, there, there it goes. It yeah, I got it. And then I just set up phone key and I should be ready to just drive it off the lot. Yep, exactly. As soon as you get done signing those documents, we do have the drop boxes on our building. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> so we don't even have to go in to take delivery. <laughs> yeah, this thing's a beauty. It will be a beauty after we take off that front license. <laughs> just unlock it. Okay. Ooh. Just getting in for the first time, touching it for the first time. I've got to savor this moment. <laughs> Ooh, I like. <laughs> All oh. new to me. Oh. Steering wheel. Okay. Paperwork. Ugh. Might have to censor a lot of this. Don't touch my wheel. <laughs> All owners sign here. Well, there's only one. It says record, right? Yeah. Okay. I have so much faith in him, right? <laughs> I just don't want you to miss this moment. No, I got you. I got paperwork you. moment. I don't even know what I'm signing. <laughs> I could be signing my life away and I don't even know it. Uh... Pull to open. Oh, okay. Do you know how to take that off? I think you need to like heat gun. Oh, I think it's just a piece of eyesore. Ooh, let's do a 360. Actually, before we ride in it, we have to do one more thing. Don't be jealous, baby. Floor mats and SSD. Oh, I scraped my Apple Watch. Oh. Sh Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was like permanent. Ooh. Clean. Screw carpeted floor mats. If you use these, you're an animal. <laughs> hey, I use those. <laughs> animal. Oh, I forgot it's oh, power it's lifting. I, I'm used to the Model 3 being manual. Hopefully I didn't break a motor. Okay, first one going in. Second one. We good. Oh wait, the peeling. Get really close, they want to hear this. Ah. A little rough, a little rough. Okay, but. <sighs> and finally, the driver's side. Might keep this as a souvenir, maybe hanging up on my wall. This is a long thing on this one. <sighs> All right, that's it for the floor mats. Don't have to close manually. All right, the SSD. Now, where do you plug it in? Oh yeah, glove box. I think it's in the glove box. Yep. Oh, sensor all that. All right, they give you a thumb drive, but that's gonna be unreliable. Ah, hot, 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 it's made of metal, it's hot. But yeah, probably, ah, unreliable. So we're replacing this with this, that. Oh, I dropped it. Don't worry, it's an SSD. Oh, Samsung is nice. They give you two different types of cables. Which one does this use? I like how the blue contrasts with the red. Very nice. Can you plug it in? Yeah. All right, plugged in, lights on. Safety, okay. Format USB drive. Format. And I guess the dash cam is ready. 
I'm not used to this OS. They completely changed it for some reason. Honestly, yeah, they should have kept it all the same. Not red. Oh, oh there we go. Ah, everything's hot. Thanks, Phoenix. What is that place? It's just A. <laughs> Oh my, oh, the glove box is already open. <laughs> Tuck that away. It's a temperature warning from the camera. <laughs> Thanks, Phoenix. <laughs> power through it. You better power through it to capture these good memories. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make packing up the SSD more interesting somehow. <laughs> now we set up the key. Same key cards as the Model 3, except I think the logo is bigger. Yeah, slightly bigger. When did I chip mine? Ah. Well, good thing I'm getting a new car. <laughs> oh wait, no, that, never mind, that's just tape. All right, let's set up my phone key. Swipe your key card. There we go. Okay, done. Hmm, what else do we have to do? Oh yeah, the pointless Instagram photos <laughs> every time someone picks up a new car. Let's do that. Okay, I kind of want to meme this, so I brought a 3DS <laughs> to take photos with. Take my photos with the 3DS. <laughs> Position it like this and then hit uh, the sh uh, shoulder button right here to like take the photo. This is probably the first time in history someone's done this. Three, two, one. You don't have any place to be right now, right? No. <laughs> yeah, that looks good, thanks. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the reason why I got a red iPhone this year is because I wanted to match the car. Now that's a flex, right? <laughs> Matches it like perfectly. <laughs> nice. Don't worry, I'm sure I'm gonna be pulled over soon. <laughs> ah, new car smell. Okay, I'm probably gonna play with all the settings when I get home. Cause yeah, there's a lot I have to learn. And learning this is already enough. Honestly, I really don't like this way of shifting gears on the touch screen that much. Uh, we're just gonna drive it around the lot so I can get used to it. Make sure it's in drive and not in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> or you went for the turn signal stock that's not there. We're not doing 0 to 60 here like he suggested. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm reaching for like a steering wheel that's not there kinda. Oh no, BMW! Woo, we survived that BMW. <laughs> the creep mode isn't on, which I'm used to. Let's start parking it. Hope these lines are accurate. <laughs> And that was one lap around the lot. Yeah, I definitely have to play with some settings so I can safely drive home. Yeah, I can't wait to use these cold seats on the way back. Insane, yes. Oh, the, it does have drag strip mode. I thought that was only on the plaid. Is there no creep mode? One thing I am missing is creep mode. Ah, oh, dang it, that's how I usually drive mine. Oh, maybe I should drive that back and you drive this. Oh, I'm down with that, <laughs> okay. Man, man. So nice. <laughs> How's wow. the back? It's really comfortable. I paid for this whole car. I'm gonna touch the entire car. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty nice back here. I have a little screen to play with too. Watch some YouTube, watch some Hot Tub Girls, watch some Squid Game, a show about being poor. Can't really relate to that show right now. I was so close to opening this door. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to break anything. Just... Oh. I left a mark, Ah, oh, It's fine. I want to wait at least a month before I break anything. I don't know if this was us, but the armrest is already dirty. Oh, that armrest is dirty too. Am I just that dirty? Or did someone here not take a bath before driving this? I can see why the ones in the Model 3 are black. Oh, what's that? Oh, I get the toy car keys too. I'm not gonna use these, I'm just gonna use my phone. I'm gonna use these as Hot Wheels to flex. <laughs> Let's see if anything's in the frunk. Oh, that goes up fast. The charger, is it the same as my old one? Yes, it is. Anything else in the back? Nope. That's a huge hiding spot though. You could fit like two dead babies in there. <laughs> Dang, look at that Ferrari. Nice, I like the open back look. I'm gonna steal someone's happy moments. They got a Model 3, broke. <laughs> If I crash, it'll be at least monetizable a bit. <laughs> Maybe I should crash. Maybe it'll go viral. Before we head home, I'm going to take both of us to a restaurant. Let's go eat first and drive there with this. Uh, a lot can happen in 1.6 miles. What if I crash into their new car, ruin their moment? <laughs> oh no, left hand turn in Phoenix. Oh, well, actually not bad. <laughs> My arm's going like that. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I didn't even push it down all the way. Driving like a grandma. Oh, come. <laughs> okay, maybe a grandma doesn't drive like that. I'm actually getting used to this already. Kind of feels cool. Oh no, a roundabout. 
I have to get used to, yeah, the touch controls. Oh no, Prius driver! Nail bear right. We survived the Prius driver. The oh! <laughs> we're having a good time. Can you tell by those sounds? Oh damn it, it's across the road. Oh, this is a one way. I don't drive in big cities often, okay? I grew up in a small town. Yeah, this wheel is only cool if you're driving like straight. Can you get out and check if I park yeah. between the lines? <laughs> oh no, you're good, you're good. Okay. The line's right here. First successful trip done, yeah. <laughs> no accidents. Oh yeah, I forgot the depreciation sets in once you drive it off the lot. How much money did I lose just now? Who knows? At least I didn't depreciate it more by crashing. Oh, I should turn on sentry mode because I don't know if this is a good or bad part of town. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's eat. There it is! <laughs> Nintendo 3DS image share, yes! No keying, please, no keying, please, no keying, please, no keying, please. Okay, good. Is this my life now, having to check if the car is keyed every time I walk out? The fortune I got was very fitting. Mmm. Alright, driving back to the dealership. At night, during rush hour. Still have to look down to use the turn signal every time. Oh, he's racing. At least if we hit a pedestrian, the car is red, so the blood will blend right in. All right, we're back at the dealership. And I missed the turn. <laughs> what if I run over a spike strip? What? Okay, I bet that was nearly an accident. What if that was an accident just because I missed the turn? <laughs> I would have been so pissed. All right, we made it back without crashing. We didn't make it back safe, but <laughs> without crashing. Did I do something wrong for them to honk at me? No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, you're gonna drive my old Tesla home? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, be gentle with her. Will, she had I a will. breakup today <laughs> by me. <laughs> Have fun, but not too much fun. All right. Better not crash or I'll kill him. Okay, maybe I won't kill him. I'll just severely injure him. Oh my gosh, I should stop talking. All right, let's go back with my new ride. And yeah, just to be safe, I'm probably not gonna vlog while driving. Especially since the autopilot is still calibrating. So I'll see you when I get home. Hopefully I get home. Had to pull over because I forgot to adjust my mirrors. Yeah, that's important. Ooh, I like that. Wireless charging. All right, finally, the autopilot cameras are now finally calibrated, and I just hope that I don't run into another traffic jam on the way home like last time. Oh my god, that's him. <laughs> that's my car. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, I like to drive the speed limit. I don't know what he likes to do. Bye. Should I just wreck into him for the meme? <laughs> no Teslas. All right, made it home. The final challenge, getting into my garage without scraping anything. And we made it. Now if I crash the car after this, it won't be as embarrassing. Yes. Dang. He had to stop to supercharge, but he still beat me here. I did. I don't know how it went, but okay. <laughs> he, was, he was speeding. Yeah. Definitely speeding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I almost closed the garage door on him. The, the lights are angry. <laughs> All right. First time sticking it in. Ah, yes. Now it's going to take like 24 hours to charge. 24 plus hours. Yeah, I'm still just using the slowest charging possible because I don't need the fastest one. He wants to be inside of her more, too. <laughs> all right, Jared is heading out. Thanks again for helping me with you. the delivery and filming and all that. Congratulations. Thanks. Have a good day. Yeah. Enjoy your broke Model 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You stay on the cold now. All right, fine. I'll try to fit you in. Perfect! I'm sure they'll get along great in here. Oh no, I realized that both of them are on low battery and I can't charge both of them at the same time because I'll blow a fuse. I can barely charge one Tesla without having to lower the voltage so it won't blow a fuse. So yeah, you guys have to take turns. The new one first. You get the fresh charger. Mmm, nice and curly. Wait, where's the adapter that lets you plug into dryer plugs? My Model 3 came with one. Did they cheap out or did they just forget it? And while we're on the subject, the front license plate thing could have came separately like with the Model 3. Ugh. Aww, look at that. A little ladybug. Get off! I'm just kidding. 
Besides, if I smashed it on the car, it would leave a stain. <laughs> All right, time to get rid of this eyesore. Yes. Take. Ugh. I don't even know if it was necessary to remove this part, but the online tutorial I looked up showed them doing it, so yeah. Gotta get this bigger eyesore off now. Someone said if you don't have a hairdryer or a heat gun, you can use fishing wire to cut through the adhesive. Good thing I bought some for our video. So yeah, let's hope it works. Oh, this was the cheapest fishing line I could find though. Okay, nice and slow this time. Ah, looks like I have to buy a heat dryer slash <laughs> heat dryer, hair dryer, or heat gun. Hey, my flip flops match. Didn't realize that until now. Ah, oh, whose idea was it to put this thing on here? All right, I bought a hairdryer from Best Buy to get rid of that eyesore, and I don't even want to say how much I paid for it. But yeah, it's a Dyson, so you can figure that out for yourselves. The reason I didn't go with a heat gun or a cheaper hairdryer is because I'm probably going to use this. I've never had a hairdryer before, and it might be nice to have. Ooh, looks lovely, and it should for that price. And now we wait. Probably would have been faster if I just bought a heat gun. All right, after 10 minutes, it's not really going anywhere fast. So I also bought this. We're gonna try this. It's meant for stickers and labels. I don't know if this can melt the uh, very strong adhesive this uses, but ah, oh, too close, too close. Extra on there for good luck. But let's let that sit for a while and see if it works. Ugh, it's still not coming off with pulling. So I'm gonna try the string method again. Maybe the heat and this stuff loosened it. Ah, snapped. Ah, snapped. All right, this was the heaviest duty fishing line I could find at Walmart. It better not snap. I'm having a hard time cutting it with nail clippers. So this must be a good sign. All right, let's slice this puppy. Ah, oh, it seems like I cut through, but it just doesn't want to let go. Oh, that's a mess. Top from bottom now. Okay, I went through. Ah, oh, yes! Finally. Yeah, I threw it. I don't care. Now I have to work on getting this off. Fun. All right, peeling off all of that was actually way more relaxing than trying to get that stupid plastic piece off. Tesla, please stop putting front license plate things on your new cars. Or at least make them easier to remove because this is the most time and money I spent on a new car right after I got it. All right, so you're probably wondering, yes, I just got a haircut, but you're probably wondering what specs I got. And a lot of people are gonna be disappointed in me because this isn't the Plaid model. It's the long range model. So yeah, you guys can call me broke now. I kind of deserve it after calling multiple other people broke in this video. But yeah, I don't think a way faster zero to 60 time and slightly worse range is worth the 50,000 or $40,000 for the Plaid. And you guys are probably wondering what's gonna happen with the Model 3. Well, let's just say a family member bought it for another family member. So yeah, it's gonna stay in the family at least. And there's some things I have to remove from this car first before I give it away. Already got all the personal items out of the glove box. Only thing left is this Chibi Robo Amiibo. Ah, next we gotta remove this dead trend. Yeah, I should have removed it a long time ago. Probably should have even put it on in the first place. Long overdue, long overdue. Next is this badge. Yes, it's from a real one. I've seen a lot of people point and laugh at this, so I don't regret putting it on there. I stuck it on myself with some adhesive, so we're gonna have to bring back this character. Oh, that's something a Prius owner would do. Oh, <laughs> adhesive remover actually worked that time, yes. All right, you probably already predicted in your head that I was gonna be doing this, but I'm gonna be putting the Prius badge on the new Tesla. Looked at this photo online. This is where the plaid badge would have gone if I got to the plaid. I mean, it can't be more perfect. Both start with P, both have five letters. This car is just asking to be ruined as a joke. Okay, this is gonna look bad, but I'm gonna use this old iPad, put some adhesive on it, and then dab this badge in that adhesive to put it on the car. I think this would be the cleanest way to do it because it's glass, it's not gonna stick to it and I can peel it off when I'm done. Just put down a ton of adhesive. Make sure every part of it gets some adhesive. I like! Now it's road ready. All right, while we wait for that to dry, this robot needs some new double-sided tape. Perfectly center. 
I think I got it centered. Hmm. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. And so with that, the transition is complete. Goodbye, old friend. We've had a lot of adventures together. You helped out my channel a lot. I hope to see you again sometime in the future. And for you, I hope I don't crash you within the first month. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys the next time I buy another Tesla. Probably, most likely soon. I don't know. <laughs> Bye! Alright, for the thumbnail shot, I want it to be unique. So I raised the car suspension up all the way. And hopefully, it won't go back down once I'm under here. Get in there deep. Where do the arms go when someone gets hit by a car? Okay, that should be good. Ugh. Ugh.